you probably um, take shoot that many threes. It's hard, you know, it's hard to beat. How much of a good test for you guys? Big Ten play, you know, a few weeks away, just to kind of maybe compare, you know, your previous experiences against the Big Ten conference teams. I think this is a good experience. They're a really good team. Been to postseason play a lot, so I think it was a really good test to see where we were at when we go forward to the Big Ten season. What? I guess it just seemed like maybe some of the things that you guys had done really well at the first three games that you won, it seemed like that's what they were doing well today and maybe areas you weren't doing well. Just like what stood out? Um, what was the difference? We made some free throws really well and we didn't make uh, our free throws today. Um, I'm just saying, you know, we couldn't buy a bucket. A lot of us shots were going out. Matt was Matt missed the easy layup. I remember. We know Matt doesn't do that. It's just everything was just nothing was going really our way. We weren't getting the loose balls. And I mean, that's when, when that when stuff goes that south for you, you gonna lose. You gonna lose pretty bad. Seems like with the rebounding, with some of the offensive possessions in particular, when you guys miss a shot, guys, someone would be there in a position to make the rebound, but. Maybe instead they're just trying to get the put back or they don't get a firm grip on the ball and then all of a sudden Creighton's in transition and they're getting points. Yeah, that, that happened a lot too. That just comes from not grabbing the ball with two hands. You know, coaches have stressed that in practice and other times we got to grab the ball with two hands. Because if you're trying to grab it one, all it takes is a little nick of the ball and then it's out of your hand or you, it slips or something. And we just They just played harder. You mentioned the whole thing that coach is stressing two hands. Is that something they talk a lot about here today with you guys, whether it be halftime or after the game? Just getting loose balls and, and playing through possessions. I remember it was a ball on the baseline that bounced. That looked like it was going to go out of bounds, but nobody grabbed it. It's a Creighton player. They're grabbing it, and then they ended up making a three. So plays like that are going to hurt you in a big game like this, so you got to correct those mistakes.